first thing I ask myself when I wake up every morning is how can I avoid all social responsibility for the sake of comedy? I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like every time I play Stardew Valley, the entirety of Pelican Town is against me getting a coop and chickens. First I'll try to get the coop, but Robin won't be in the shop, and then when she is, I will spend all my money upgrading my watering can, then I'll have to wrestle with this doofus' schedule. She won't be at the counter one day, and then the next day either, and then what do you mean it's the flower dance? So then finally, on like the last day of spring, I'll have my coop and chickens. But today, I finally changed that. I'm going to get a coop and a chicken in the fewest days possible. Alright, here we go. <laughs> the world's stupidest Stardew Valley challenge. Alright, I want to clarify a few things before I start. This is really not a speed run, at least not in the traditional sense. Obviously, the truly fastest way to get a coop would be to lay down some cauliflower seeds and then sleep till this 14th of spring. But I want to see how little in-game time it will take me while maximizing what I do every day. That does mean that there's no talking to villagers or giving gifts or any of that socially productive stuff. Alright, but I do want my guy to look good. Come on, man. I need something good here. Alright, so after like 10 minutes, I finally actually designed a character that I'm happy with. However, while doing that, I realized I don't know what the best farm for this would be. I think I'll be fishing a fair amount, so that could be something I could look into. However, I also, I'll need lots of rocks, and so, might actually be best to get the hilltop farm? Alright, you know what, for fun, I'm gonna try the hilltop farm and see what happens. Alright, first order of business, clear the area, I guess. Oh my god, this is so much different than I'm used to. Ooh, I'm just like, I didn't even think about some of this stuff. I just thought, like, is it worth it to get, a like, a, a chest? Before I do this, well, is it better than, like, having to carry materials everywhere? Okay, real quick, since I, I don't actually know what the hell farm's like, I'm gonna go try and find whatever that, like, rock deposit is. Oh, yo, this is sick. If only I could reach it! <laughs> I'm gonna say that, uh, I think a chest is worth it just because of how much crap I'm gonna have to carry. Today is also definitely great for getting my foraging skill up, because if I can get access to whatever those nature bars are that are made out of tree seeds, that would be a game changer. Dude, how is this more intense than normal Stardew Valley? Like, I am insanely intense about normal Stardew Valley, and yet right now, it's something is happening in my mind. Alright, so before starting this run, I looked up what problems I would be facing. I have to get a fair amount of money and resources in order to actually buy the coop and chicken. But the real challenge is going to be positioning that when I buy the stuff around the NPC schedules. Robin is always out on Tuesdays, although you can sort of work around that. And Marnie is consistently out on Mondays and Tuesdays. So overall, I need to get his coop as fast as I can whilst trying to make sure that the day it's finished isn't one of the days that Marnie's out of her shop. Now the best possible strategy would be to have the coop finished on Sunday the 7th, before Marnie actually has any real days off. But since the coop takes three days to build, that would mean that I would have to get it started on the 4th. And I don't even think my parsnips will be ready by then. So instead, I'm going to aim on starting the coop construction on Sunday the 7th, and then buying the chickens on Wednesday the 10th, since that will skip over Marnie's off days. In order to do that, Alright, first controversial, like, item on the list, I'm actually gonna sell my parsnip seeds. I've looked up on the wiki, and they do not give you as much profit as d per day as the potato seeds will. And if I'm going for the 7th, like I said I was, I'm gonna need- <laughs> these will grow in time, these will grow in time, and that will be lots of profit, so it's probably pretty good. Is it also good to sell this stuff? I kinda need- some of the energy too though. Oh, ooh, first dilemma. I have an idea. It's technically a time loss, but that's okay. All right, I snagged this daffodil. Okay, I'm gonna sell that, that, and that. That way I get more money for uh, C. Give me the math. All right, 15. Pfft, I could do the math. I could do the math and see how much that gets me. To be honest, I'm not too concerned about the money I'll need to get chickens after I get the coop. A chicken is only $800. So it shouldn't be too bad. I'll just need a fish in the, the days while I'm waiting for my coop. All right, I've got an idea. I'm gonna go look around town for forageables that I can either eat or sell. Come on, Valley, don't fail me now. I need like a wild horseradish or something. I just had the most wonderful idea. I don't need to be concerned with the villagers' opinions of me. I, Penny, I'm sorry. 
but it's okay. <laughs> Let me go look up what potatoes will give me. Okay, so at a basic value, uh, potatoes give me 80 G. So 15 times 80. He's a hunt. It's a thousand two hundred. That is bad. Even if I, all right, let's say somehow all of them are silver quality, even though that is never the case. That's only 1,500. Man, it would have been so nice if there were more forageables around town, but apparently Linus stole them all already. I want to get forging up as fast as I can, because those, those, uh, like, survival bars are going to be vital. Come on, energy, you can do it. Yes, oh, one energy left, dear god. All right, I'm pretty much screwed when it comes to, like, doing anything else today because I'm so low on energy. However, I'm not gonna stop. There's gotta be something I can do. I want, I, I genuinely wonder if it would be a viable strategy to try and like level up your friendship with people. That way, well, that way they would send you stuff in the mail. Those potatoes, I think I will, what? Maybe I won't have to plant any more crops. I can make money from other sources. It's not like I'm limited just to the, the potatoes, but dang, this is a complicated issue. That's only like, that's that's a good chunk of the money, but that not not that big. I mean, I'll be fishing a lot over the next few days. Ooh, I just had a thought. I are those spring onions down there in what you call it in Cinder Sap Forest? Yo, there's like one spring onion. That's enough food to last me for like I don't know thirty seconds. All right, I think I'll head back to the farm and mine some stuff. I don't know. All right, what rock will give me the most money? Probably these. All right, I got a whole bunch of stuff to sell tonight. Hey, okay, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Level one foraging. We now have access to field snacks. Those would be really helpful. And how much money did I make on the first day alone? Oh my god, $400. Like, that's not much in the grand scheme of things, but that's fairly good. Wait, what? Fishing? What did I- Oh, okay. Yeah, broken CDs don't even sell for nothing, but those, those, uh, oysters help. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I may actually be able to get this coop pretty fast. Like, it's not- it's not too hard to rack up a bunch of months. Wait, real quick, a time save that I learned about is put your bed right by the door. All right, well, I plant, I, I water me tubers, and then I'm gonna go to the beach and get the thing from Willie. I'm, I'm torn between focusing on money or resources. Oh, I don't have many resources. Maybe I should, you know, just cut down a tree or two, just in case. All right, well, I'm spending a lot more time doing this than I thought I was going to. But I also, I realized the power of those seeds, man. So I'm already, I'm looking pretty good. I've got all, like, oh, like almost half the wood. And then stones are only going to be the problem. I do, I can make three bars out of that. And I also have some sap and stuff to sell. So not a bad start. I wonder what the best way to get uh, rocks is. Because the mines will open before the, the Sunday, the 7th. However, I mean, there are plenty of rocks on my farm. And those are more consistent about giving rock so it may be a better idea just to land mine them all here although getting a hundred of that stuff is gonna be hard all right well now i have a bamboo pole let's do this time to fish for like half the afternoon Real quick. No! That could have been potentially uh, terrible. Let me just hold a fish in my hand. Yes, this is what I was going to do. I was going to go around town and go search for everything. Oh, come on. The saloon. Did I just see what I think I just saw? Is that, is that really? Oh my god, how? Alright, I'm trashing the bait. Because, I, well, I just Googled it. Coal actually sells for a fair amount. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be Googling a lot of stuff during this, but oh my god. I need to start checking more trash cans, man. I feel like today was just an insanely lucky day. I want to check the TV, even if it costs me time before I go to bed. Ooh, okay, uh, there's an order here. Uh, I should check this. Fetch me an anchovy. I'll accept the quest. I don't think I'll do it. I could. I could go... Down to the beach tomorrow, get an anchovy, deliver it to Clint, and then bring him the geodes. You know, it's not 
the worst idea I've ever had, so we could try it. All right, well, the haul here today is, um, it's kind of fantastic, to say the least. Real quick, before I go to sleep, I'm gonna go my- Ooh! No, wait, wait, tomorrow is a rainy day. I don't even have to pay attention to my crops, that's great. Dude, I may be able to get this by the fourth day. I don't know how good that haul was, uh, from today, but how was today's luck? Please, okay, the spirits are in good humor, you'll have a little extra luck. That did not feel like a little, if I'm being honest. Alright, this is looking good, <laughs> this is looking really good. Alright, fish totals, I got 500 today, so that's pretty good. Let's see, what else I got, uh, wait, did I even, did I even sell the thing? There it is, mining. How much was that? 250 bucks. Remind me to go do the trash cans on the way out of town tomorrow, but this is, this is shaping up. It's gonna be a, a pretty big stretch to try and get it by the 4th, because uh, doing that would give me pretty much the earliest possible, uh, time for, uh, this, but... I don't know. I just don't know. We'll see how it goes, I guess. Alright, pray that today is a good luck day. Let's go! Okay, I need an anchovy. I just want- Oh my god. I've gotten, like, gold quality of everything. <laughs> and yet, still no anchovy. Alright, real quick. I'm gonna go empty out my inventory. Oh god, what time does fi will Willy leave his shop? There we go. I have- I'm halfway there on the money. God, this is going so well, but to actually be able to do this, I'd have to get the coop by tomorrow. So I'd have to get all the money and go to Robin before she closes. What time does she close? We're Googling this again. All right, so she leaves at 5 p.m. God, this is gonna be real hard. Let's try. I need an anchovy though, man. Like, Clint is hungry. All right, I'm giving up on the anchovy just because... No, I'm- I'm just giving up. I don't think- well, actually... That is a profit. I can turn that for a profit, actually. I'm gonna do it. I didn't even realize that was there. I must have sold that the first day. Alright, so if I take that... I didn't- Alright, I was going- what I was gonna say, I gotta actually get the clints if I wanna process any geodes. Alright, process geodes. Alright, here we go. Come on. Give me something good. That works. Is that pyrite? Oh no, that's Jagodite. You can make a cool shoot out of Pyrite. Not that I can really do that here. Okay, we're getting all pretty good things. As in, I can sell these for money. So 115, 80, 125, and 75. Pretty good, pretty good. We're, we take that. Alright, now I'm gonna go and give him his sardine. Uh, hey, that's the- Alright, great. So there you go. Here's a little something for your trouble. Great. Alright, well we're going fishing here now. Um, <laughs> Pam. Pam, look out. <laughs> Pam. No, Pam. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh, it's a catfish. Oh god. No. I I didn't realize. I didn't realize. No. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. If I could get this, this would be so good. No. Come on, catfish. No way. I've never caught a catfish here that early. It's so hard. Shane, I'm sorry. This is just how it has to be. What? No. Frick. Shane, you threw me off, and that's your fault. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. No, if I could grab this, though, and that's a big if. Oh, no, 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 no. If I could grab it, it'd be so good. It, these puppers sell, like, for 200 apiece. If I could grab another one. Please, catfish, please. No way. And it's silver quality. Let's go. Okay, here's... I want to... I want to share with you guys a little secret from one extensive uh, wiki reader to the next. If you level up a skill, which I did. I was at fishing level 2. Now I'm at level 3. It, it shows this in game before the thing happens at night. But if you do that, you wake up the next day with full energy. So, I can stay up till 2 a.m. tonight and no one can stop me. No, oh, it was almost perfect. I distracted myself by talking, but I think 
I think that's the last fish I can get, just because I've done so many, and I do need to head home, sort of. Actually, no, it does not take that long to walk back. I probably could have stayed a little longer. Okay, but to pull this off now, I have to get all the materials. For one, I need to get all the materials that I need, and the remaining money. I hope I'm doing pretty good on money after all this. Eat the seaweed, eat the seaweed. We gotta do this. We got until 2 a.m. to go cut down some crap. I can do some of this tomorrow as well. That's one thing. Put those in there. Run back. I have so little time! <sighs> level 2 fishing? I didn't even have that yet. And then I also got to level 3. Okay, moment of truth. How much money did I earn? Dude. It's so close. It's so stupid close. All right, how much? Let me check how much money I have, like, starting today, because I don't know how much it is. It's. I think I had about 2,500 before. I am down $50. I can get this. I can do this, man. I can so do this. I'm still watering the crops, just because I think they'll be ready, actually, the day I need to buy a chicken, so... Technically, I wouldn't have to actually do any work until that, until that day. Alright, so I need a little bit of wood, and a lot of bit of, um, whatchamacallit, of rocks. Okay, I'm checking down here, because A, I need, I need oak trees really bad, and B, I need money really bad. And so, I, I need, I need oak trees for the seeds, and then I need to, like, also just grab some, like, three things to sell. Okay, now it's just a matter of rocks. I can do it, come on! There we go, that's- I- I have- I'm eating that as well, just in case I accidentally swing something and get exhausted, but I- that's the wood and the stone that I need. Now I just need to run by Pierre's and sell stuff, and I- I think I'm good, <laughs> dude, I think I'm fine. You know what? Just for fun, I'm actually gonna talk to people while I- <laughs> while I'm in town since I can actually- I think I actually can. Abigail, get back here, you rock-eating doofus. It's just so much more chill when I can just walk around and actually say hi to people. Okay, but there it is. I have, like, the money now. In fact, just for fun, I'm buying a cauliflower seed. I want this to be perfect. Let's go! This is gonna work. Like, honestly, this is actually working. I have one to say you could, like- you could do it faster than I did. Oh, oh, that would actually be like a really nice nook and cranny for the poop, but uh, nope. Now, hopefully I haven't done any calculations wrong. Because if I have, that's really gonna suck. But I'm basically free. Like, I planted those potato seeds. Those will be enough to buy a chicken. Heck, I could buy two chickens if I work towards it. I wonder, is the mines open? No, it's still not, so... I was able to achieve that, like, get everything I needed while still not having access to the mines. Yeah, I can give gifts to people. Haley, take this daffodil. I'm sorry, I feel so, like, I feel so liberated. Like, maybe I should not be cocky and, like, actually, like, focus and make sure that everything will go perfectly. But I, I, I'm pretty much good. I can just chill, like, the whole rest of the few days that I need. Now, I could go and, like, sleep and, you know, enjoy myself or counterpoint. I could work even hard, like even harder, and do more stuff. So tight, it's gonna be so tight. Come on, come on, come on. Go to bed. <laughs> oh my god, no way. Oh, <laughs> that is like the best run from the mines I've ever had. All right, but today's today. It should be the day. Okay, oh god, I hope these are good quality because I really like. I'm gonna need some of this, because I need enough- I- okay, I have plenty enough for one chicken, however, if I could get two, that would be really cool, I hope that happens. 
Just in case though, I'm bringing geodes with me to go like destroy with Clint. Oh no, I just remembered. I mean, it's not that bad, but I, 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 Clint asked for some ores and I actually have that. I should go do that. No, come on. Dude, that's enough. Well, yeah, the duh, that's enough for a chicken. That's enough for two chickens. Let's go. Done archaeology. Oh. Gunther gave me- I donated a dwarf scroll that I had to the thing and he gave me more money. Sick. You're getting a daffodil, bud. Oh. Whoops, that's not what I thought would happen. Alright, cool. Alright, well, here we go. Coop to our chickens. So, as of the Sunday the 7th on 1140, I could have done it a lot earlier than that, but I didn't. <laughs> I will have a chicken. And its name will be... Uh, let's go! And now we're getting a second chicken called... I did it! <laughs> Alright, well that's... That's the challenge. I succeeded. Alright, well here they are, the chickens. Let's go! I don't have food for them! <laughs> well, that's it for this challenge video. Thank you guys so much for watching because this was really fun. I've already got loads of ideas for other things I could try in Stardew Valley and in other games. So if you want to see more stuff like this, tell me in the comments and share it with your friends that I know that you guys are interested. Also, if you try the same challenge yourself, tell me how it goes since I almost think it could be done faster. Alright, but that's enough from me for now. Squid Cat out!